Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. And he's tackled at the 33. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Pitches it, tackled after decent pickup. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's at midfield. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Get him in the backfield. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the run. He'll get it again. Tackled for a loss. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. Mike Moore, Mike Moore. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. Throws it to the outside. Oh, boy. Almost intercepted. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy to football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 35. Mike Moore, Mike Moore. Scrambling around. Decides to slide. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. around the corner he's at the 40 he's at the 30 and he's taken down at the 27 great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field they're getting very tired two times, two times. first and 10 ball on the 27 yard line He's pushed out of bounds around the 18-yard line. That's a deal. That brings in second and one. And he 
just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Makes it to the eight. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. That makes it first and goal. Gets to about the five yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. move and he scores this back has great vision which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw and he adds the extra point an eight play 80 yard drive and the result, seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. So our score, seven nothing. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. The Panthers are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Caught, open field. He steps out at the 37. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. They push him out right around the 46-yard line. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. From their own 46-yard line. Second down. He scrambled. Tackle at about the 49. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He gets hit out of bounds. Around the 46-yard line. Well, a new quarterback, but we saw this kid getting reps both in practice and in the pregame walkthrough, so this isn't a big surprise. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Tackle made at the 22-yard line. From the 22-yard line, first down. Inside the 10, and down he goes at the 8-yard line. First and goal, and if they can execute, we'll be all tied up. Tackle made around the 10-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. 
We played one. The Panthers lead 7 0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. He's tackled at the seven. Three yard gain by the running back. This is the 10th play of this drive. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. It's up, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Brought down at the 38-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's on the run. He's wrapped up for the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. They come up to the line here. It's second down and 14 after the sack. Here's a quick throw. And it's incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. They'll bring him down to the 21-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Quick throw. He's knocked out of bounds around the 49-yard line. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. He's at the 40. He makes his way out to about the 35. up of a yard for the tailback. That brings up second. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 34. Now he tries to buy some time. He fires. And he's tackled at about the five-yard line. and goal from the five and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. Quick throw. Almost 
almost intercepted. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. Third and goal from the three-yard line. Get to that quickly. Touchdown! <laughs> Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. A seven-play, 79-yard drive, and they put up seven points. I think the thing, Brad, that I'm seeing is the quarterback's taking advantage of some one-on-one -on -one opportunities on the outside for some big plays for this offense. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers struggling trying to get their star wide receiver in this game, and sometimes... You know, Herbie, it's almost like uh, a jump shooter in basketball. Get him to the free throw line, get him one free one from 15 feet and see how he can do. they got to get the ball in his hands somehow. I agree with you 100%. I mean, it's just a matter of just one play, one touch could get this guy going because he has that kind of ability. And up to this point, they've not been able to find a way to get him the ball. Give credit, a lot of credit to this defense for coming in with a good plan. But now it's up to the offense to make their own adjustments to kind of counter that attack by this defense to be able to get the, the ball into the hands of their go-to guy. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Brought down at the 46-yard line. Steps up in the pocket, and they got him. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. So that sack sets him back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Quick throw out to the receiver. Knocked out of bounds at the 49-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Quick, he catches another. Out of bounds at the 46. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers really have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 20. A quick strike to the receiver, and they make the stop at the 25. Can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. Get 
gets to about the 47-yard line. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. They bring him down in the backfield. The Panthers use their second timeout. It's second and 12. Ball on the 44. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 46-yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. And he's got his receiver. It's the sophomore. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 35. From the 35-yard line. First down. This one's going deep to the end zone. Tipped away. I'll tell you what, if he doesn't get his hand in there, they're looking at a sure touchdown. That makes it second and ten. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 30-yard line. So we've played two quarters. And a 10-10 tie in this game. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back for their offense. Uh, absolutely, and you got to find Reese, these ball hawks on defense. They need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, Defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, trying to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. That's going to do it at halftime, just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, bro. I'm going to get some of the cafeteria. I'm hungry. Wait, 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 don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. Great first half on a tight ball game. And we're set to start quarter number three. Football, loose ball. He picks it up. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Taken down at the 38. That's a game that made on the play. That makes it second and two. the option is you're going to have some negative plays but if you keep running it it'll create some big play opportunities they need about three yards to get the first down here on third down he's got the corner and he's level at the 40. And this one is a beauty. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. He showed a good burst there. 
Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. He's at midfield. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. First and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Ball on the 27 yard line. Makes the catch and he's got nowhere to go. Pushed out of bounds at the 15 yard line. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 15 yard line. Got a man in and out of his hands. Number 86 was the intended receiver. That makes it second and Toss, and they push him out at the 14. It's third down, nine to go. Ball on the 14, and they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Throws this one out to the right. He's got it, touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. It's three on the carry. And that was the freshman linebacker who was right there to make the play. Second and seven. Ball on their own 28. On the ground, up the middle. He makes it to the 28-yard line. There's a strike complete, and down he goes at about the 45. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. And he gets a yard on the run. That's a gain of one on He 
gets tackled at about the 31. First and 10, ball on the 31. Maybe three yards on that run. Yeah, there's not much room there for the ball carrier. The safety did a nice job of stepping up from the secondary and made a good stop before he could get many yards. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 16-yard line. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. The Cougars with a touchdown lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Here's play number 10 on the drive. That makes it first and goal. A short yardage defense here. Here's the toss. Another new one. Second down, goal to go. Three yards for the touchdown. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Now he's scrambling. Tackle right around the two-yard line. We're at the 12th play of the drive. And he's tackled around the one-yard line. So from a yard out, the offense is going to try to stay on the field here on fourth down and goal. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. He fired it out to his wide receiver, who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. They rolled the dice and went for it on fourth, and I'm sure they're happy with the result. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Picks up a yard. That makes it 33. Yeah. 
They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. They'll bring him down at the 50. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Zips it to the tight end. Brought down at the 46-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. He'll get the call again. He's taken down at the 45. Maybe a yard on that draw play. And here's another third down. The Panthers will use their first time out of the half. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen, maybe hit the tight end or a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. He takes it at the 12, and he's tackled at the 16-yard line. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Five wide. He's immediately tackled. That's a game of seven. That'll bring up second and three. First and ten. Ball on their own 40. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He got it! Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. So here's where we find out who wants it more. First and goal. We have less than a minute to go. Makes a move and he's in for the touchdown. one away he kicks it off and he got all of that one and it sails out of the end zone for a touchback well this is a competitive game it's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth just when you think one team has the edge the other gets right back into it this is exciting even in a game this close i think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome but that doesn't mean it won't happen they come out in a five wide set Washed out, and he's going to get sacked. Well, they sent the quarterback, and he was able to make the sack. The offensive line was just too slow to pick him up. By the time they saw him, it was just too late. And he's taken down at the 37. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37. Down he goes at the 45-yard line. The spike will stop the clock. That'll bring up third and two. Larry, Larry. 
Quick throw. And he tackles him hard at the 41-yard line. Play is number eight on the drive. Watch the run, watch the run. Right foot. And 280. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. This is the ninth play of this drive. Fires it out. The ball is loose. Scoops up the loose ball. I'll tell you, when a guy as big as this lineman gets his paws on a loose ball, you can pretty much forget about it. You're not getting the ball back from him. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Got an opening. And they bring him down at the 38-yard line. The Panthers, coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.